kitchen now. Here we go. Tori counts up to 60, which should fill the room with six cubic feet of gas, enough to blow it to pieces. That's assuming the milk muffler doesn't work. This one's for all the marbles. <laughs> all right, kitchen's filled with hydrogen for a minute. We are ready to go. In three, two, one. Woo! There's no need to shoot twice. Even with milk at the end of the barrel, the flash from the gun made the room go boom. Busted! Busted! So it looks like the milk is not enough to stop the muzzle flash from igniting the hydrogen. They've not only busted the myth from the movie, but also smashed the idea of milk stopping a blast in a room that's been properly primed. I was certain that this was not going to cause the gas to go off, but I was wrong. <laughs> we blew this kitchen apart. Now there's shrapnel 25 feet back. Yeah, there is milk everywhere. Clearly, milk is not going to be the thing that stops the explosion. Well, it sure doesn't work with hydrogen. As for the methane, it never exploded at all. So Morgan had no cause to fret in the first place. Sure he had the right idea if they were cooking with hydrogen gas. I mean, we had to go to a gas with such a low ignition energy that it's ridiculous. We're busted on so many levels. In the meantime, remember, it's very uncool to mess with methane or to waste milk.